Phoenix officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. I like how shocked she looked. Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, Zombies. man. Uh... I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. And if your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards Macon, I suppose. This guy loves his Macon. All right, then. Okay, it's sleepy snooze time. It smells like... Manure. Manure? Like when a horse plops? Just like that. I missed my mom and dad. I miss them too. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Seven far. Pretty far. Oh, okay. Sorry. Why is no one sleeping under the blanket? Is this a hot part of America? I just... I love the baby. <laughs> Hey is haunted. And it loves you. Okay, snooze time now. Hey, get up. No. <sighs> I ain't the boss of you. Ugh, I mean, itchy. you ain't the boss of me. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. <laughs> Tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable treat lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! But he makes up for it with enthusiasm. Word is, you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Sure, we'll tag along. Sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan, then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Okie dokie. Let's build that fence and live out our days in here in happiness and solitude for all time. But 
first, let's have a look around everything. I will do. It's an adventure game. If you don't check everything and everyone, every which way but loose, then you're not doing it right. Got anything to say? How you doing, Duck? Good! I'm gonna drive the tractor! Don't, you'll kill him. I'm the foreman! Lift with your back, Sean! You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. Okay. Sean's still working on that fence. Yes, he is. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bys to length, that sure speed things up. Two by watts. You must finish your words. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. Oh, he doesn't no, want to know. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Was he an annoying kid? Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. Yeah, good shot. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. I had to shoot one. I could shoot one. Maybe. If it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. Job completed and absolutely no sawdust generated. I'd say that is work well done. Let's see what we've got going on. Going on down here. Because those are words. And I am good at speaking, damn it. Alright, let's see what Kenny Kenny Ken Ken has to say. Hey there, uh Kenny Jenny. Ken Ken. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? Well, I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Nah, nah. No, no kids. Would have liked one then. You know. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds, and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But... We're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots, and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could... Hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. See you. I can't tell if he's joking or if he really does catch dolphin, so I don't think you're supposed to do that. Anyway, let's see how these two are doing, if I can get there. Ha <laughs> ha! Hey there, girls. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how was that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? Something tells me it won't last. So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. 
back to normal. It can't stay like this. Actually, I'd hope for a holiday. No, I used to. I was let go a little while back. That's too bad. Well, I hear people always clamor back to college after a big disaster. People don't want to die ignorant, I guess. Indeed. Also, right. First grade. That's a bit low for an eight-year-old, right? I mean, is that supposed to be something significant, or does the American system work different? See, I can't tell. But when I was about eight years old, I was in year three. And I think that would be third grade, obviously. So, who knows? How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just... Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we... the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Anybody in their right mind would. Families and barbecues and beers with good friends. All of those things. Those are the things we live for, right? With those gone, what's the point? Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. I certainly don't live for beers, but if you were to say families and barbecues... Actually, no. If you were to say barbecues and milkshakes with good friends, then I could get behind that. So let's go see what Farmy McFarmerson has to say about everything that's going on. Hello, Farmy. How you doing? I said, how you doing? How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Have a leg injury? This farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon, with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Do you mean upon? Yeah. I was looking for help in her house. Hmm. <laughs> Can I give you a piece of advice? What is it? I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. Oh, and I'd start checking the attitude, friend. <laughs> I think he needs to check his attitude, no, screaming all over the place. Oh, that's why he's screaming. Okay. Duck, why did you run him over? I mean, that was a really silly thing to do. But I'm going to have to save you because you're younger. It's just the way things work. Oh, I still have to do things. <laughs> right, that didn't work. Yeah, you take over, Bobby. Oh, uh... I don't know how to drive it. I could complain about farming bills, though, if you want. Oh, I don't think you want that. Oh, no. <laughs> Poor little third zombie didn't want to be left out. Well, that guy's dead. And Duck possibly killed him, depending on how you, how you view that. 